Hey guys, I'm Shark from Team Burst again, and usually one of these gear review. Usually I do one review, uh, one card per uh, review, and I'm planning to still do that. But because this is a special case, and all these cards work together, and I kind of just want to, this video is gonna be long. <laughs> so yeah. So today we got three very cool review to finish off the Chrono Tiger line. And before we start, I just want to say that the Chrono Tiger line is a very powerful. Like, I tested with my friend today when the stuff come out. I asked my friend to do a proxy and we did it. And I played five round and I managed to win. Uh, I managed to win all five. I think I won against one Murder, but it's only a Highlander. Three, three Aberos and one Esso, which I think is pretty impressive especially for gear chronicle and now i'll show you guys the uh the list i have and i use it's probably not the best list but that's what i uh made in a rush and try with my friend and i think it's pretty good i think i only changed like a few bit well we haven't seen the double r stuff yet so maybe we'll change so let's first talk about the grade two his name is chrono by tiger uh auto on vanguard at the beginning of your ride phase draw one card and discard a card from your hand. Act on rear guard once per turn. Cost, discard a card from your hand. And this unit gain plus one critical until the end turn. Now the advantage with this card is that it's a free filtering. A bit worse than Chronotude, but it's still very good. Definitely more easier to activate than what uh, Lost Break can do. It provides pressure with the crit. Minus one might not be the best, but it does keep you... It does help you get to that rebellion last skill because sometimes you have too much in hand. But if you usually play the game right, then you usually need to guard a lot at the early game. That's how to play this deck. That's basically how I play today, and it seemed to work quite well. So that's what I recommend. Just guard a lot early. So you don't need to counterblast as much when you go for that last skill. And also you have low hand. And if you don't win that turn, even you have low hand, you still have low damage, so you can still take a lot of damage. Of course, this might not work against clan that use force two, which is pretty scary. But I mean, it worked for me. I survive, and yeah, <laughs> Chrono Bite is just good in general. Um, now let's talk about the disadvantages that it doesn't do too much of it on its own. Like if you don't get the rebellion out, this is just just a vanilla like you don't want to activate that current without that unless you have like five force markers stacked on there then that's a different question <laughs> um it m do minusing of course this can be both advantage and disadvantage because advantage that you get to go faster with a rebellion get an extra card but like i said this could be easily avoidable by guarding early so minusing is still a minus no matter what and I feel like even though with the ease advantage and how good this card is, I really don't think it's deserved the triple R slot. I think it more deserved the double R spot, but who knows? Uh, I just wish the double R spot have a card, kind of like Lost Break Dragon, but better. <laughs> That's just my take on it. Uh, my take on what should be and another one to be. I don't know, just a more recycle, more better grade four, kind of uh, recycling of grade four, like Prompty Worker, but better. If that is the case, then that would be very cool, but uh, we don't know. So overall, I'll give this card a rating of four. This card is very good, very good, filtering, pressure, very good, but I wouldn't say it's to the four mark, like I said, with the disadvantage. For the art, I think it's fantastic. I give it 4.5. So yeah, this card is pretty good. Next we have Chrono Fang Tiger. Man, this card is a bit more disappointing, but it exactly matched what I thought. So, uh, don't blame me on that one. Uh, first skill is Icon Vanguard Lost Legend skill. Search for your deck for grade 4. Discard any number of cards to get 3. Search your deck for grade 4. Easy. Get a Force Marker at the end. Uh, second skill is when rode upon by a Chrono Tiger Rebellion, discard a card from your hand and one of your Vanguard get plus one crit and plus one drive. This is basically what I predicted. Like, I already said four drive check on a Mystery Flare is scary and I don't think Bushy would want to do that. So this is fair. 
I mean, it doesn't do much if you don't go into Tiger Rebellion, which is unfortunate because uh, I tried it this time and there was one game where I need to go into Mystery Flare first because I was playing, that was the first game. I was playing the game wrong. I didn't guard early and I got into that unfortunate situation. So it's fine. It's still good. Next we have Chrono Tiger Rebellion. Oh, uh, wait, okay. I haven't talked about the advantage and disadvantage yet. Chrono Fang, when rode upon, um, it gained advantage if you rode into Rebellion. Like I said, this card to gain a drive and a crit is very beneficial, especially Rebellion with a drive. Very strong. Uh, another advantage is that a crit for basically free and a drive for basically free, like I said. Uh, this advantage is the weaker version of Lost Legend when you're not going to uh, Rebellion, which is from my five gameplays so far, it's not that common not to go into Rebellion just because it's so good and even because you can just guard early and your damage is either one, two, or zero. That's what usually end up, unless your opponent rush so hard that you can't. Usually you have like four or five at the start of the turn and you just spend it all. And usually either have one card left in hand or a zero card just have that rebellion rush turn even though it's not the best it's still very very powerful trust me yeah uh all of the rating i unfortunately can't give it five but i'll give it four because it's still a very good plus a crit and plus a drive is very very good just that it missed the mark a bit when it doesn't do anything <laughs> Other than going to Tiger Rebellion. Like in future support, this doesn't do anything much if you're not going to Tiger Rebellion. So yeah, this is not going to be... <laughs> I don't know. We're going to get, of course, I think Chrono Fang is going to be a different deck from Chrono Jet. And that's what people are saying. And I agree. I like that idea. I think Chrono Fang is going with more of this rushing idea, which kind of look at more kind of uh, symbolized with the Tiger. Tiger, you know? eat run no more thing now let's go to the main spicy card that i say this card is very good and it's probably why i won on my five game even though those match up i would have not won at all if i used the old gear deck not even close but this card is insane when it attack when it attack it doesn't it's not even on place this is already very very good activate all the effect according to the number of cards in your hand. Five or less, choose two opponent with your card, retire them. Three or less, three of your fund will get 10k. Uh, one or less, turn off face up card from your damage zone face down. This unit uh, get, continue on Vanguard. All of your opponent guardian get minus 5k shield until the end of the turn. Ridiculous. This card is ridiculous as hell. Like, I'm not saying it's like broken or anything. It's just very, very, very fucking good. Some people might doubt it at first. It seemed pretty simple. But just imagine gone in your first grade three. Uh, superior right this. Bump to rear guard. Front row 10k. And all the opponent guardian minus 5k shield for basically no cost. The fuck? Like, all grade two guardian, zero shield. Grade one, 5k shield. Grade zero, 10k shield and 15k shield. It might seem not that bad, but when you actually play against the deck, man, those shield are very, very fucking annoying. Like, I'm gonna tell you right now, most of my attack, even on the first turn, are usually 33k or higher. And that means you need at least, at least 35k shield to guard those, unless you perfect guard those, for a 33k attack. That that's a lot. That means you need to have a heal trigger and a critical trigger. And you might say, oh, I can have a heal, a grade one, and um another grade one. Well you can't because those cards still get minus five K shield for each stack. So you need to call another 10k shield. So I say at least 35k shield, but if you're not having that heal and a crit, that will be a heal and three grade one. Like, this card is insane. This card is very fucking good. And it's just on attack too. So you can just strike first, be sure, okay, okay, we got this. Now we can set up the board. 
And not even that, like, well, in one game, I top deck this card and I was forced to ride this. And it's not even, you can just stay on this card because it's literally on attack. So the skill, you can use it, keep using it. Like, this card is insane. I don't, I, I know a lot of people is underestimating it because my friend is Joe. I'm, I'm like talking to you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> It sometimes sound a bit reason un unreasonable why this card is so good, but this card is just so good. I keep repeating this because it's so good. Uh this card is so good. I can die happy. <laughs> like this card is insane, bro. Advantage, all skill are basically free. That is true. You guard early, you have low damage, you lose out on nothing. You just get more advantage. Skill activate on attack. I already talked about that very cool can even ride it and stay on it you don't of course you don't get that triple drive but sometime that come into play minor 5k shield is a lot more scary than people think that's one of the advantage i wrote down this advantage can be very can be very vulnerable to pg that's what a lot of people are saying and i think that's the case because i haven't seen any protect clan yet but one of the two player did use a pg on me and it's quite annoying but they do use a PG. One of them did survive that turn. And another one of them PG my Vanguard. And they can't guard the rear guard. <laughs> like, you need to take this into account. That you might think that each shield is only minus 5k shield. But that counts for each shield number. Like, I know you understand this. But when you actually play against this, it's very annoying. <laughs> It's very annoying and I'm very happy. <laughs> Can be vulnerable to Protect Clan. I haven't tested against any Protect Clan yet, so that might be the case. I'm just saying this is probably the case. I'm probably gonna test against the Protect Clan soon. But for right now, I haven't tested against yet. But this card is just insane, bro. Insane. I can't talk about this enough. Like rating 505. Five. I 5.5 out of 5. <laughs> like, this card is very good. I I might just be under uh, overestimating it, but for my test play today, I don't think so. And it's very good. A very good card. I definitely give no less. Art rating 5 out of 5. I mean, the art is crazy good. I already said this. The same with Chrono Fang. So, I mean, it's... It somehow is a bit shorter than the common one I did at first. I have no idea how, even though I talk about literally three cards. It's probably because I didn't talk about the interaction, but it's fine. Uh, I kind of already talk about when I talk about the card, but you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very excited. Oh, wait, before I end this video, I'm just going to show you my testing list I have right now. Probably going to be in the screen. Uh, this list, I made it out of rush, so I might change something, especially I want to bump up that Prompty Worker a bit. But, that's about it. If you guys want to try to test play it, you can use my list, or you can comment on my list. It's By the way, it's all, uh, like I said, it's all rush. So, it's not the best list, but I'll definitely change something. Uh, something to note when you try my deck list is that, sometime, even though that grade 4, 4 count, Grade 4 might seem a bit too low. It, do it doesn't. Because you usually win by first grade 3, right? Or grade or second grade 2, like, at the very least. I never gone to my third one. Like, there is no game where you're gonna go to your third one. I feel like I want to bump up Brompy because sometimes you can just get very unlucky and just draw your grade 4 at very early time. And also, even though it's good to bind grade 4, like for uh for mystery flare so i can get that plus one drive it's sometimes annoying that when i bind a grade four i know oh shit i only have three grade four left in the deck so definitely run more properly maybe of course i wish we can have better a re better recycler as a double war so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember keep playing oh,